most people use a lot of the similar strategies. Like they may have done something differently, but all of them have built good relationships with other creators. Like that's Mm -hmm. a big one. It's not surprising necessarily, but it's just interesting to hear that. And then the consistency piece of it is huge as well. I think that often goes with building those relationships is once you're writing for enough time, like people are like, oh, they're going to be here for a while and they'll like Mm -hmm. give you the time of day. So it's almost, I don't know, the relationship piece has been interesting to see. And even I'm doing research now and I'll find relationships about creators I did a deep dive on five months ago and be like, oh, I totally missed that back then, but they were linked up with this person. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really interesting. Like the world is a lot smaller than you think it is. I love that you mentioned the relationship thing, because I think it's one of the biggest sort of hidden levers that people just do not realize how important a role it plays. And not just with like huge creators, but even, you know, even going from a newbie to intermediate level or whatever, you know, whatever that means, it's massive. And I think people, because they see what people are posting and they see that, and I think a lot of times they make this assumption that those are the things that are driving that growth. And or people that aren't growing get really frustrated because they go, I don't understand. My tweets are just as good as this person's. My newsletter is just as good as this person's. Why are they taking off and I'm not? And they just don't see that behind the scenes, and I'm not even talking about engagement pods, like that's a whole other, you know, that's a whole other thing. But just genuinely those relationships, they don't see that, oh, I featured that person's tweet or that person's newsletter in my newsletter because I had a conversation with them or it came to my attention or whatever, right? There's all those sort of hidden things happening that I think really are impacting the growth of stuff. And a lot of times, not only do people not realize that, they might be modeling what someone does thinking that's the key to growth, right? Oh, if I tweet the way that person does, that's going to make me grow. It's not the tweets that should have been modeled. It's the relationships, but you don't see that because how would you see that? 